All right, so in problem 76, we got this graph of function f. We got this triangle and a semicircle. And we want to find g of 5, where g of x is equal to the integral from 0 to x of f of, f of t dt. OK, so simply, g of 5 would then be the integral from 0 to 5 of f of t dt which is basically just the area of this, um, you know, this, these, you know, line segments or this triangle from here to here. So the area underneath this tri triangle and the semicircle from zero to five. So we have this area then, which would be, you know, the area of the triangle is one half base times height. So one half times one times three plus a semicircle, which is half the area of the circle, so one half pi r squared. The radius here is two, so one half pi two squared. So you get one point five plus four over so plus two pi. And I don't think they simplified it, so your answer will be d. One point five plus two pi. Seventy-seven. We have the volume of a sphere that's decreasing at a constant rate of three cubic centimeters per second. At the instant when the radius of the sphere is decreasing at a rate of 0.25 centimeters per second, what is the radius of the sphere? Okay, so um, we're given the equation for the volume of the sphere. So um, let's basically write with the information we have. So we have the volume of the sphere. is decreasing at a rate, so dvdt is decreasing at a constant rate. So since it's saying decreasing, it's being negative, a constant rate of negative three cubic centimeters per second. And the instant when the radius of the sphere is, dec the instant when the radius of the sphere is decreasing at a rate of 0.25 centimeters per second. So that is talking about d rdt, it's saying drdt is negative 0.25 centimeter per second. So let's, let's calculate the, the, the rate of change of volume with the relation to time. And this is simply um, going to be like the related rates problem you probably did in um, like chapter two in your calc course. So um, we, we will get dvdt will be four thirds pi, that's the constant, that's, or that's the constant coefficient. The derivative of r cubed, this is three r squared, times dr dt, the chain rule. And we're simply gonna evaluate this and solve for r with these values for db dt and dr dt. So let's just rewrite this as negative three equals Four, these threes will cancel to so four pi r squared. dr dt is negative 0.25. So we solve for r. Let's go down here so we have more space. Divide by four, so negative three fourths. Divide by pi. And divide by negative 0.25 or multiply by one over negative 0.25. And that'll give you r squared. And then so r is just the square root of this. So r would be the square root of this. So you just gotta use your calculator to, to figure this out. So let's go. Three divided by. Open parentheses four pi times point two five. And square root this or raise it to the point five. So about point nine seven seven. And then so our answer will be E. All right, 78, we got 
that f and g are continuous functions such that we're given the integral from zero to 10 at f of x to be 21 and the integral of one half g of x from zero to 10 is eight. And we got to find the integral from zero to three at f of x minus g of x. And we're also given this integral. And then it grow from three to 10 as f of x minus g of x is two. Okay, so this is kind of just using um, the properties of, in, of, of integrals. So the integral of from three to 10, I'm gonna just use shorthand just to save some writing. So of f minus g, Actually, um, let, let me write, let me go from here. Like that. And let's let's solve for this. So that'll be so we want to find the integral from zero to three of f minus g of x. So this will be equal to the integral from zero to ten of f of g minus g f minus g minus integral from um three to ten so that's that's not kind of confusing but let me write this out so this will be equal to the integral from zero to ten of f minus g of x this minus this integral the integral from zero to three of f of x minus g of x. And again, I'm using a shorthand notation just to save some writing. So, um, that's not, what am I doing? That's not three to 10, three to 10. Sorry about that. I didn't have my coffee. Three to 10, so it's the integral from zero to 10 minus the integral from three to 10 will give you the integral from zero to three. So it makes sense because you know, zero to three minus three to 10 leaves us in that integral from zero to three. Okay, so from here, you kind of just kind of use with the information you're given. Um, and it's actually pretty simple. So we're, we're given that the integral from zero to 10 at f of x is 21. So this part will be 21 for that f minus integral from zero to 10 of G. Now, this is this is telling, telling us that one half of the integral from zero to 10 of G of X, DX is equal to eight. So if half of, if half of that integral from zero to 10 of G of X is eight, that means the entire integral will be two times eight or 16. So the integral from zero to 10 of g of x will be 16. And in this part, we can find it by using this. We're given this part, f of x minus g of x from three to 10. So that minus two, we're told, we're told straight up that equals two. So we've got 21 minus 16 or five minus two and we're given that to be three. And so our answer would just be eight. All right, there you go. Sorry about that mistake. Hope that clears that up. I hope that helps.